What if I can't get my hair back? <gasps> my hair! It's ripping. Oh. <laughs> my hair! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Lissy. Today, guys, I actually did something insane. I bought the world's most deadliest band toy that's ever been created, and that's the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids doll. how I found one of these gems. I actually found this at the antique store, brand new in boxing, and you guys know I've made videos about this thing before and talked about why it's so dangerous and deadly, but today we're gonna be unboxing it, reviewing it, and seeing if the rumors are true, and we're also gonna be talking about some other deadly band toys that should not have been sold on shelves as we were a kid. If you guys are excited, be sure to smash the like and subscribe to join the family. So before I open and review the most deadly band kids toy in the entire world, I wanna tell you guys why it's so deadly and why it's banned. So this Cabbage Patch doll, was actually released in the 90s. It was recalled because it was chewing on children, literally. It was actually pretty serious because it would rip out their hair and swallow it down into their mouth. The Snack Time Kid Cabbage Patch doll looked like most other Cabbage Patch kids, but it had one very, very huge difference compared to the other ones. The doll had a motorized mouth that you could feed in some plastic foods that would land in its backpack so you could do it again. So what was the problem with that, you guys might ask yourself? When the little doll ran out of french fries to eat, it would turn onto the humans to Eat. The doll's mechanical jaws didn't even have an off switch, so as it would start to eat, it would just keep going while there was something in there. The chewing motion would sometimes catch onto kids' fingers or even worse, their hair, which I'm going to test for you guys today. So I might lose my actual hair just for an experimental video. This might end up bad. There were a lot of stories of little girls getting their hair caught in the doll's mouth, and it was so bad that some girls would even end up with huge bald patches, which makes me a little nervous to try this. A mother named Tammy Mize had brought the doll for her three year old daughter Carly, but when she realized that the doll had snagged off the toddler's hair, she tried to pull it off, but it did not go as planned. She claims it kept rolling her hair inside of its head. It pulled her hair from the root. She is completely bald all the way back down to the back of her head. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should try this. This was not the only case of the doll turning into a tiny nightmare. The doll chewed many other kids' hair up, including a seven-year-old named Sarah Stevens, whose family had to call 911 to come and dismantle the doll completely because they couldn't even get the hair out of the doll. They say it took over 30 minutes to feed it to the little girl. I'm scared of this toy now. I can't believe I have one of these in my hand. Mattel actually issued a recall for the doll with a $40 refund. They already sold around 500,000 by the time that they realized that this was an issue and a caution to children. So today we are gonna see if those rumors about this very deadly recalled toy are true. Let's find out. So here's the box of this doll. I love how innocent it looks. Like it's literally just a little kid just thinking, la, 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 la. I'm playing with my snack time girl doll. She's eating licorice or pretzel sticks. Mmm, and then she's gonna eat my fingers. Obviously she has no idea what's about to happen. They look all innocent with their french fries and their little pretzel sticks, but she's about to have her hair ripped out. It says, feed me one of my favorite snacks. It disappears when I eat it. You know what else disappears? Your hair. This is so innocent. And then it says, when I'm finished eating, look at my backpack. Just like magic, the snack is back. So is your hair. Inside there's a birth certificate and an adoption certificate to show that I only belong to you. You belong back on the shelf, Miss Snack Time Doll. It says, feed me and my magic snacks again and again and again my mouth really moves as i eat is this also not good because it's teaching kids to keep eating you know what else is bad my dog's playing when i'm trying to film y'all are too wild for real wait halo you're like biting her halo this is just crazy so there's the snacks that it comes with inside as you guys can see and there's the demon herself why is it that she has teeth on her face she looks creepy. Her name's Chelsea Tom. My birthday is March 30th and I like to be cuddled. <laughs> That's so creepy, I hate that. So I have the Cabbage Patch Neck Time doll here and we're gonna unbox this. My boyfriend does not know what's wrong with this doll. If you had to take a guess, what would you say by first glance would be wrong with this doll? Um, like maybe it would fall on somebody. I, I don't know what's wrong. Wait, it says feed me. It's got munchers. It's got like a mouth. It's like a munchy mouth. Here comes the demon. Didn't you pay a lot of money for this? Maybe. Oh, there she comes! Did they wrap her? Oh yeah, they did the thing in the back with all the twist ties where it takes a million years I to hated it when it would be Christmas day mm -hmm. and you'd get your toy and it just, twist you couldn't ties. get it out. We're trying to uncage the demon, but she still has like 500 twist ties all over her. Why did they make these so hard to unbox? Because they knew it was going to be a PR problem. They didn't want kids playing with it. Okay, so we got her out of the box, and now we gotta put the batteries. Why is there a random hole that looks kind of, that looks weird, that looks saucy. Never mind, we found the actual battery pack. We had the wrong hole. 
Now we're taking out our kidney. Yeah, construction. Look at her mouth. Ooh, that thing looks deep. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the batteries in British life. It's like watching Frankenstein, but like the world's okay. most like deadly toy. And okay. Okay. We unboxed this demon and we have it working. Now don't shove your finger in there. I wanna feel what it feels no, no, like. No, 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 no. Ah, look, it's moving its mouth. That's what it's supposed to do. So we're going to test to see if it can eat this whole entire banana. And then we're gonna banana. test what else it can eat. So um, let's take a look here. I'm gonna shove this banana into this doll's mouth and see if it eats it. And then it goes into the backpack. Oh, it dropped the banana pill, but it did just eat the entire banana. That was horrifying. Okay, just a second ago, I realized there's a wheel that turns in its mouth. Do you guys see that? That's horrifying. Okay, that's why this thing got recalled. This is dangerous. Like, look at that spinning wheel. What are you trying to feed it? A wafer? Oh, it's so creepy. I hate that. The way it chews is actually terrifying. Can I stick my finger in there? <laughs> you okay? Ow! Ow. Wait, what? Ow. Oh my god, it's pulling my finger in. Look, it's got my finger in there. It's stuck? Yeah, it is. Oh. I can't get it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rubberized mouth. It like actually pulls it in. Here's the real test. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it is slowly kind of- Ow, my finger! <laughs> Sorry. It is slowly munching at my hair. I could see where this wheel inside would turn a kid's hair and like get it really stuck and like pull its hair out. Want me to try your hair? My boyfriend has long hair. Come this way. Do it. <laughs> Stick it in there. <laughs> But your hair's a little short. Here, I have an idea. What, what if I what? stick your hair in there with this toy? Ow! Because what if kids get it mixed up, you know? What if I can't get my hair back? <gasps> my hair! Oh my god, it is! Oh my god, it is! Wait! Ow, my hair's stuck! Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. It literally did take my hair. Like, what do I do? And it's still going! Oh my god, my hair! Wait, I think that's actually my real hair. I can't get it out! Oh my god, it doesn't want to. Oh my god! Wait! It's twisted around the gear in there! Oh my god! Oh, Wait, shoot. that's my actual hair! No, it's going deeper! It's going deeper! <laughs> Wait, babe, stop, stop! Turn it off, take the batteries off! Babe, it's still going! I'm trying to stop it! I shouldn't have done this, I'm actually gonna lose my real hair. Oh my god, shit. I'm having my boyfriend take the batteries out because my hair is actually stuck. In the doll, ow, ow, ow! Yeah, okay, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. I shouldn't have done hold this. Hold on, all right. I'm gonna need more ah. hair. What do I do? Oh my God, get a close up. The mouth is literally, if you guys see in here, the gear has literally wrapped up her hair. That's why That's this is recalled. Hair. Okay, this is real, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna have a breakdown, I shouldn't have done this. Okay, so we're trying to pull my hair out still. This really hurts. Yeah. Oh, ow. I'm pulling down, I'm pulling down, you pull up. Oh, do you want me to just cut it? No! Oh. Ah. My hair! It's ripping. Oh. Oh. My hair! <laughs> Look at the doll's mouth! <laughs> no way! That was my real hair. It was. This was just bleached. I just had my hair done today. I hope my stylist doesn't see this. So we're going to talk about some of the other most deadly recalled children toys that were ever created and sold in the stores and surprisingly not the next one on our list might be a little bit unexpected because a lot of us remember this one when we were younger or at least I did I definitely played with this toy and that is a easy bake oven the so easy bake oven was actually created by Hasbro and basically if you guys are not up to the easy bake oven lore in 2007 Hasbro had to ditch their beloved 100 watt incandescent light bulbs due to a new federal litigation their toy originally did not have those light bulbs inside of it but since there was a new law Hasbro was forced to change the type of light bulb inside of the easy bake oven toys without that classic light bulb some stuff under the hood had to get switched around in order to get the easy bake oven baking again and short story short that one little switch ended up making this toy go from a perfect little easy bake oven to a disastrous monster of a toy 250 child bakers got their hands stuck inside of these pink little plastic oven and let me just say these were not cold to the touch they were hot. Obviously it was an oven. 
What does an oven do? It bakes things. Ovens need to get hot in order to bake things, so obviously it was gonna be hot to have their hands stuck inside of it. 77 other burned themselves, 16 of them seriously. And in the end, Hasbro recalled nearly 1 million Easy Bake ovens and took them off the store shelves and they were never for sale again. I saw Easy Bake ovens all over when I was a kid. Like all my neighbors had them, I played with them, I used to get little mix packets, I remember seeing the commercials on TV and telling my parents, I really want an Easy Bake oven. But honestly, it was probably for the best that I didn't get an Easy Bake oven because honestly, as fun as that sounded, I don't think an oven that gets up to a certain amount of degrees is safe for little kids to be playing around with, especially if kids were getting their hands stuck in a very hot oven that's capable of baking cakes. Like that is an injury or a hospital visit waiting to happen. So Easy Bake Oven was easily thrown off the shelves and deemed as one of the most dangerous toys in history to get recalled and cause a lot of injuries. So you guys know the Barbie movie just came out, so I had to talk about some Barbie. There was a very, very dangerous Barbie toy, and I'm sure a lot of you guys actually know about this one. And in the Barbie movie, they did reference to this Barbie, and that was really skating Barbie. This Barbie was released in 1991, and it was unique compared to the other Barbies because it had flashing roller skates. While her skates flashed with harmless LED lights, they also literally fired sparks at the bottom when you rolled them on top a flat surface. So naturally, when you think about a Barbie being scraped across the floor with a kid playing with it and sparks flying out of it, you obviously would know that would not end well. Literally, children could create a whole entire fire with this Barbie doll, and um, that was just not worth it. Kids probably ended up burning their own house down playing with this, just smashing it around and making flames with the little rollerblades. Obviously we all know how that could have went. Parents eventually expressed concern that their children were at risk of creating a fire or getting burned with this toy. And unsurprisingly, Mattel quickly recalled the project before any other children were seriously harmed with the roller skating Barbie. The commercial for this doll actually honestly made it look pretty fun. At the time, I probably would have wanted this toy. If I didn't know what it was capable of doing, I probably would have been amused to see my doll shooting out little flames from the bottom of its feet. Could imagine that didn't go so well because kids are stupid, you know? They don't know better. They're like, oh, whoa, that's sick. Look at my Barbie can shoot flames out of its feet. Of course kids are gonna do stuff like that. She was pulled off the shelves and never sold again and extremely dangerous for a good reason. So the next band deadly toy, I don't know if too many of you guys have heard of this, but they were called Moon Shoes. Moon Shoes, Moon Shoes. So moon shoes were also known as pogo shoes and anti-gravity boots and ankle inhaliators. Moon shoes are kid-powered mini trampolines for your feet. They simulate the experience of jumping on a regular trampoline with some imagination, the low gravity environment of the moon. They have a big black frame at the bottom and I'm pretty sure they had like some sort of springs inside to create that like I'm jumping on the moon sort of feeling. And they had a purple shoe holder with straps. And uh, just looking at this picture on the screen, you can already imagine where this is not gonna go so well. It takes one little off balance moment for you to hit the cement face down wearing these things. Moon shoes were introduced in the 1950s. At the time, the bizarre invention was made out of metal and coil springs to clamp over a person's real shoes like roller skates. They could easily be mistaken for a torture device if you ask me. Then came Nickelodeon in 1992, debuting a child friendly version of the ancient death trap itself in the show Double Dare, and it wasn't long before moon shoes evolved into a full-blown cultural phenomenon. They were also marketed as a one-size-fits-all sort of thing while carrying a maximum weight of 130 pounds on the shoe. They were kind of like wearing a bucket for shoes. However, as we all know, what goes up must come down. Moon shoes themselves, known to this day, have caused over a hundred thousand injuries to children and adults. And that's just every single year, apparently. I don't know if that's still a current thing because they're not popular, but that's what the internet says. And some kids and adults even broke bones such as their arms or their ankles playing with these moon shoes. To me, over 100,000 injuries, it's just not worth it, no matter how fun they look in the commercial. That is one of the most deadly toys of all time. Comment down below, have you guys ever owned any of these deadly band toys? I want to know in the comments down below, what was your favorite toy as a kid, or what was your least favorite toy as a kid? And comment down below if you guys have any other band toys you guys want me to cover in a future video. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video about band toys that you guys hopefully never owned as a kid. It's been Lissy. Be sure to check out my other channels. I have a vlog channel where I've been posting extra stuff on, such as arcade videos and other fun things that I'm working on. And also guys, be sure to check out my Instagram. I post there once in a while. I like to share the behind the scenes on there with you guys. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. And I'll see all of you lovely people in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.